influenced by um, nature, obviously, and then my imagination. Um, and then also pop culture of this day and age. Yeah. Pop culture. <laughs> I like to infuse, I love vintage um, sunglasses and attire too. And um, I love the funk mixed with, yeah, um, biology and botany and zoology. Yeah, so. What's the inspiration for a piece like this? For this piece, I painted this during when Neowise, the comet, or it was coming through our earth realm <laughs> um, and my um, fiance Colton was photographing Neowise quite a bit and then we were also visiting um, Macmillan Marsh so this exhibit is all based around Macmillan Marsh and Marsh themes but this piece also um, because of the name Neowise made me think of um, the matrix and then I also incorporated owls because they're wise and then I also try to incorporate like this vibrational undulation within the trees and everything. Um, and mixed all that together and this is what I came up with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, my brain is like all over the place, organic and free flowing, so. So you do a lot of like, amphibians. I do, I love toads, I love frogs. Um, Most girls don't. I know, I know. I do though. <laughs> I think they're cute. <laughs> um, and then I love the fact that toads have the studs, and, you know, studded like they're rough skinned. So kind of like the punk nature studs on their attire. So that's what I combined for some of the other pieces. Um, what about that one? Over um, there, this piece was there. inspired by uh, the Mandalorian, um, Baby Yoda. I, I was in intrigued by Baby Yoda's um, need to taste everything in the Mandalorian. So this time I had raccoon, which they love to taste everything too, mm -hmm. eating Baby Yoda. Um, so I incorporated some aspects from the Mandalorian, like the, the macarons that he munched on in one of the classes that he sat in, and then um, Incorporated also different things that I was inspired by, like the butterflies. I believe the butterflies were in a part part of the Mandalorian too, um, and I thought it would be fun to have like flight of the butterflies flying through the 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 um, canvas matrix with the raccoon and Baby Yoda nibbling on a, the macarons too. So, and then also in another piece, I kind of incorporate like. The woolly worms, because another piece I had in a previous show, I had a woolly worm themed piece um, nibbling on Cheetos and knitting woolly socks for a harsh winter coming up. So I thought I would incorporate some nibbling woolly worms on the leaves above too. So yeah, <laughs> I like to put little Easter eggs within other pieces from previous pieces. So how did you get started doing this kind of work? What did you start when you were beginning? It all started in art school. I mean, I've always been pretty imaginative, and I love color. Um, in grad school down in Madison, I uh, did more installation art and performance art, um, but it got to be quite a bit, like stitching everything and making these worlds. Um, for fellow artists to create this world for viewers to walk in and experience. So I decided to delve into the two-dimensional. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm able to make like a, a large two-dimensional world to walk into and view um, without having to create three-dimensional pieces and within a huge space. Um, Who inspires you? I was very inspired by um, Tim Burton, um, I can Dr. See that. Seuss, yeah, yeah. Jim, Jim Hansen, yeah. um, some more. Let's see who else do I? Salvador a lot of, uh, some of him. Some of his stuff is a little bit too much out there for me. Um, I like. Um, I think who else? My brain's kind of, <laughs> but more of my childhood memories of cartoons and things like that um, inspire me most yeah. of the time. Favorite cartoon? 
I love the gummy bears, um, Smurfs, stuff that's way, way out there, kind of weird, yeah. Um, but I like the labyrinth and those kind of, the Sesame Street and, you know, things like that too. Um, so Fraggle Rock. <laughs> what do you use? Uh, what kind of media? Um, this is a mixed media piece, so basically I get bored <laughs> with just using one type of medium. So I do woodblock prints also. So what I do sometimes if I get bored, I collage on woodblock prints to create leaves. Um, sometimes I use them for tree um, trunks and, and things like that. Um, but I also use acrylic paint, um, acrylic paint pens. Watercolor pencil, ink tense pencil. It's um, really a novel medium. It is, yeah. And, and then sometimes some glitter. And glitter. Mm -hmm. I gotta have that sparkle, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I tried not to overdo it, but sometimes I go a little crazy. <laughs> that kid part of me comes out, so. So this is a small portion of your work, right? Correct, yeah. At New Visions Gallery, I had a larger collection of multiple different seasons this is more summer early autumn um kind of based around what we're in right now more summer marsh themed kind of work so so i thought it fit with this time period right now <laughs> so where are you from i'm from marshfield um i went lived, to marshfield senior high lived here all your life mm -hmm. went to washington school yeah <laughs> When it was on Oak Street back in the day. Now it's over by Weber's farm, so yeah. <laughs> I liked the location when it was on Oak Street, so a lot of good memories there. Uh, so what has been the audience response? Oh, when I was in New Visions, people yeah. raved about the colors. It pulls people in, um, especially during the winter. When I had my show in New Visions Gallery, it was just on the verge of winter. It was in December. So they found it uplifting and fun and funky and uplifting. So, um, which is nice in a medical facility because a lot of people are coming there for treatments and things like that that yeah. not too fun. So if I can uplift people, that's, that's my main goal and inspire people to um, Look for that out in nature and anywhere they go. So. And uh, reaction to this show? This show? Well, it just opened today. So, so far so good. People have loved this piece with Baby Yoda and the <laughs> title, May Your Marshmallowy Force Be Squishy. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, and these are all for sale. They are, and I also mm, if, if the price someone, is right. I, <laughs> also, I do prints if people want a smaller size because these are very large, and I know not everybody has just a wall free <laughs> to, <laughs> to uh, hang it. So yeah. Okay. And I do have a website. Um, and that would be. Um, it is. Um, KatherinePetke.wixsite.com backslash Petke Narrative Artist. Okay. So, it's, yeah. I don't know if you... <laughs> else, you can have that, too. Anything else you'd like to say? Uh, um, um, yeah. For show at Chester? Uh, this is my third. I've exhibited last summer here, and then I've also been part of group shows. So, yeah. I like visiting here. <laughs> so, 